Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So in my today's video, I'm here in Brampton and uh, we're gonna do the practice on exam route. Uh, watch this video till end. It's gonna help you a lot. Uh, for sure, you're gonna get a lot of tips and uh, you can pass your test after watching this video. Let's start from here. So I will show you where you have to park the car when you will come for the test. So that's the test center building in front of me. So all these uh, spots uh, here, they are for the road test. So you will park somewhere here. If somebody is doing parking in front of you, let them finish. Stay away from them. An examiner will ask you to turn right from here. So take your time, check both sides, check your blind spot, give proper signal and then finish your turn. At stop sign, they will ask you to go left. So come to a complete stop, left signal on. Check both sides and proceed when it's safe to do. Take your time at stop signs. And here you can drive at uh, 15 to 20 km per hour. At stop sign, they will ask you to go left. So before brake, must check your rear view mirror give signal complete stop watch for people if they're crossing the footpath inch forward and scan both sides take your time here one minute two minute three minute take your time move when it's safe to do so and go to the first lane on the left hand side and then examiner will say at second traffic light we have to make right turn so after passing this light you have to come to the right lane so scan both side here give right signal check your blind spot come to the right lane check your blind spot again and come to the right lane so take your time here if you're able to do the lane change do it nicely otherwise you have to pay attention and you have to adjust your speed accordingly and then you will do the lane change to the right hand side signal will remain on so it's a giveaway sign here we have to watch for the traffic from left hand side so we will keep eye here on the left hand side so nothing is there we can finish our turn here we have to do the lane chain to the left so check your mirror give signal check your blind spot and then do the lane change so speed limit is 70 here keep checking your rear view mirror every five to eight seconds before break, must check your rear view mirror. So whenever we stop behind any vehicle, we keep one car distance. So make sure that you're able to see the uh, rear tire of the car touching to the pavement. So that means you're keeping a good distance from the vehicle in front of you. Keep checking your surroundings so that the examiner can see that you're moving your head. So while driving, you have to check a rear view mirror every five to eight seconds. When you stop the car, then you can check your side mirrors as well. And once you approach here, examiner will say you have to take exit to 410 North. So we'll get six signal here. Check your blind spot and then come in your lane. So 30 is a recommended speed. So if you can control your car at 35 or 40, you can go at that speed. But I will suggest you to always try to drive at the posted speed so that you will not lose control.
and as soon as your car is getting straight you have to start speeding up so we always drive as per the road condition weather condition and traffic flow and accordingly we will do the merging as well so check your rear view mirror give left signal make sure that your speed has to be 100 and then do the lane change to the left come in your lane first and then cancel your signal here, examiner will say do the lane change to the left and come back to the right lane. So mirror. So there is a car on my blind spot. So if it's not safe to do so, don't do the lane change. They cannot fail you for that. So if you're not able to do the main, uh, if you're not able to do the lane change during your test, they cannot fail you for that. You will do the lane change only when it's safe to do so. And try to keep four to five car distance from the car in front of you while driving on highway. Keep checking your rear view mirror, so head movement so that the examiner can see that. And they will ask you to take exit number nine. So they will ask you to take exit number nine, Clark. So you have to take exit from here. Make sure that your speed will remain same until unless you reach to this V point here. So from here, leave the gas pedal cover your brake, let your car slow down by itself and if needed then you can apply brake as well. So we'll stay in the same lane and from here we will go left so your left signal has to be on. Keep checking your surroundings and keep eye on the light as well. So once your light is green, check your left side blind spot and then proceed. So from here, examiner will say we have to take exit to 410 South. So once you approach here, you must give right signal. Check your right side blind spot. So again, 30 is the recommended speed. So when it says 20, 30, 40, that means those turns are very sharp. So you have to be very careful. As soon as your car is getting straight, you will start speeding up. So make sure that you will hit 100 and then you will do the merging. So as I told you, we always do the merging as per the weather condition, traffic flow and road condition. So if the traffic flow is slow, you will do the merging accordingly. If the weather conditions are not good, you will do the merging accordingly. And try to do the merging as soon as you can. Here, the examiner will say do the lane chain to the left. So take your time, adjust your speed, and then do the lane chain to the left. And then he will say come back to the right lane. So take your time, do the lane change when it's safe to do so. And they will ask you to take exit number seven. So you have to come to the extreme right lane. So Steel's Avenue exit. At this point, you will leave the gas pedal, cover your brake and gradually, nicely slow down. Not like all of a sudden, so 50 again is a recommended speed, so gradually, nicely slow down. So we'll stay in the same lane and we will take right turn or if you want, you can come to the extreme right lane as well. But I will suggest you to stay in the same lane and take right from here because both lanes are turning right. one car distance keep eye on the light keep eye on the vehicle in front of you check your rear view mirror as well so come to a complete stop since it's a red light we will treat as a stop sign so we will inch forward when it's clear we will finish our turn and turn to your lane. Once you're done with your turn, you will do the lane chain to the left 
So mirror, signal, blind spot, speed limit is 70 here. And we will do the one more lane change. So mirror, signal, blind spot. So sometime it's a lot of traffic here. So examiner can take you to the next traffic light or might be he will ask you to turn left from here as well. Keep checking your surroundings, check your rear view mirror as well. So examiner wants to see your head movement. So make sure that you will move your head enough so that they can see. Don't get panicked, take your time. Signal will remain on. So we have here separate left turn. So you have to focus to your turn. So we have separate left turn here. So we will just focus to our turn once our light is green. So the test is going to be about 15 to 20 minutes because it's a modified test. You don't have to do uphill, downhill, three point turn, parallel parking, nothing. You just have to do the uh, plaza parking once you will go back from the test. And there is no reverse parking even. They will ask you to do the front parking only. So we have separate left turns, so we'll check our left side blind spot and stay in your lane and finish your turn. And straight up your wheel, have a good control on the car. And after traffic light, examiner will say turn right or they will ask you to turn right from here as well. So we'll turn right from here. Check your right side blind spot and then finish your turn. So here we have stop sign so we will come to a complete stop. We will look for other traffic. We will proceed when it's safe to do so. At this stop sign examiner will say turn right. So right signal on, right side blind spot check, and then move this way. And then he will say take this left or second left, watch for oncoming traffic and then go and then park anywhere on the left hand side or right hand side. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video is gonna help you a lot.